And welcome to your Gone Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 24th of February. Happy Friday to everybody. Trust you're looking forward to the weekend. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Of course, overnight we had a whipsaw session in the US. Indices closed near the highs after a midday turnaround. So we have this early sell-off and then buying coming back in. And really what this did is highlighted the disparity of analyst opinion. So we've got... Two schools of thought, one suggesting that where we are now is actually okay, that everything that is, including the Fed, is already priced in. And then you've got the other school of thought, which suggests we're still up for a bumpy ride for the rest of 2023. So really, markets to and froing as they have done for most of the week. Uh, we've also got the US inflation data due. This is a PCE number, which the Fed likes to look at. That's out this evening. That's going to move markets. And also the other potential market mover today is the Bank of Japan. They have a new BOJ chief in place who's given his speech in terms of forward-looking policy for the BOJ. US futures are near neutral in early Asian trading and Asian indices are following that US lead with the ASX. Trading around about 0.3%. Big miners, BHP, Rio are a drag on the index again for the second day on the spin, really. Outside of that, and healthcare, every other sector is in positive territory. European futures are pointing to a positive open, and the VIX retraced a little bit back to that key 20 level, which is important. US dollar index edged higher yesterday, but still under that 200 AMA and has dropped a little bit in Asian trading today so far. Gold, after dropping through 1830 for the first time since December, remains so for most of yesterday's session, although it is up slightly in Asia at this stage. Brent crude oil bounced off the critical $80 level. We're seeing, again, some buying pressure coming back in as markets feel as though perhaps that's enough for right now. Bitcoin is holding support around the 200 EMA after a couple of weaker days. And earnings season continues on the ASX. We've had several companies in Australia reporting today. And generally speaking, the reports have come in quite well. As we've already said, the PCE data coming out of the US is vitally important, but that isn't all out today. We've got German GDP this afternoon and also US consumer confidence. Again, plenty for the markets to digest. It'll be interesting to see how we close the week after what's been a really turbulent week. Just a couple of charts to keep an eye on. It makes sense to start with the yen crosses. You can see the volatility that ensued. This was after some CPI data, which was slightly weaker than expected on the headline number. But we've got this choppiness going on, but no massive movement as was perhaps likely to be the case. And what this means is that we're still around this key 92 level. Now, as you can see, we bounced off the 200 EMA yet again. We saw some of that yesterday before retracing, but this puts 93 potentially as a short term price target. So it'll be interesting to see if we get some more buying into this pair, uh, whether we make it to 93. That's one to watch, certainly, uh, this afternoon, I would suggest. On the ASX, we're well, liking ALG, Ardent Leisure Group Limited. These guys uh, own many of the theme parks on the East Coast. This big drop we had uh, in the middle of last year was essentially they sold a lot of their US assets. And so that devalued the company. Anybody who was holding the shares got a big chunk of cash. Uh, but since then, of course, We've seen it not really having a lot of direction now. We see the high since that big drop being hit today after earnings have beaten expectations. And that has breached this 70 cent level, which has been resistance really for all of February. Although less meaningful because of this big drop, the 200 moving average looks important. And we are testing that. So this looks good. How far it will go, of course, is difficult to judge because this gap was due to that fundamental reason already explained. But nevertheless, buying pressure is in. This company looks in a good position and technically it looks strong. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.